so much for tuning in. My name is Ronke Lowell. Welcome to Talk Time with Ronke. So today I want us to talk about what it means to be self-made. Forbes magazine recently um, announced its list of America's richest self-made women. So these are women who are uh, entrepreneurs, executives, um, and entertainers in the media uh, realm who have made a substantial amount of money. The combined net wealth of the top 60 self-made women is now on a record $71 billion. This is according to Forbes magazine. And what's interesting is, is our definition of self-made. So one of the individuals who's listed on this, this amazing list, this is really big money, is, is a young lady called Kylie Jenner. So she is part of a, how can we describe them? A media mogul family, a family of entertainers, pop culture, beauty, fashion, they're influencers. I mean, her big sister is probably one of the most famous influencers that you have ever heard of, Kim Kardashian. Her mother, uh, Kris Jenner, is her manager and her publicist, um, or at least part of her publicist team, but definitely her manager. Um, and she is worth $900 million. And she's listed as number 27, and she's not even 21 yet. So I'm filming this right now, it's 2018, and she is worth $900 million. Now, what's important for me to acknowledge is, first of all, Obviously, I don't know them. <laughs> I don't know any other people on this list. I kind of wish I did. Um, I don't know Kylie Jenner. I acknowledge her story. I know a little bit about her background story. Um, I'm aware that she is the youngest uh, member of that family in terms of siblings. There's a, there's a group of siblings that make up that particular family. Um, now, we have to put things in perspective. My definition of self-made and I'm sure certain schools of thought would agree with me, is if you have little to no help in building up your wealth portfolio. Now, obviously, along the way, as you build your network, you're going to get some help. You know, you, there's no such thing, literally, you know, there is no such thing as building anything by yourself. You need employees, you need help, you need assistance, you need, you need investors. You know, you literally, it's, I can't think, I'm trying to think, it's very, very rare for somebody to literally take a penny and turn it into a million without some kind of guidance along the way. However, let's put it in perspective. An individual like Kylie Jenner was born into a relatively wealthy or if you want to say rich background, if you want to say privileged, whatever you choose, whatever word you choose, I would say relatively wealthy. Okay, and she was also born in a time where leveraging your brand using social media and using entertainment, specifically entertainment, um, and you know your 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 look has really changed the game in terms of how people are consuming content, how people are engaging with brands. So she has been very blessed to be insert to be insert to be born in a family that has already almost come prepared, it's come packaged. Now that doesn't take away from the fact that she has to wake up every day and do things, go to meetings, do certain things to climb up that ladder. So I'm not going to dismiss the fact that she has to do some work. Um, her mother is extremely strategic. Um, and, 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 and very smart and you have to I think in any game of life including entrepreneurialism you have to be able to navigate and maneuver now can we say that an individual who was already born into quite a high level of privilege is self-made it's difficult it's a difficult one I don't think so I, I think that we have to be really careful with that and we have to remember that it's important to know and understand the full story. Understand the full story behind. Now, that's not taking anything away from her success or her wealth. Because at the end of the day, some people would argue that in order to justify your wealth or your self-made status, you've had to, you, you would have had to have struggled. No, nobody wants to struggle in life. Yes, it's an, it makes a nice, you know, backstory. And it makes, maybe it might, it might make it sound more real and accessible. 
Um, but I, I don't necessarily think that you have to struggle to make it to make it in life. I think you have to be smart, be strategic, and know how to, to maneuver, how to engage, and how to work with people, how to build relation, the right relationships, and saying yes to the right opportunities. Because a lot of people are working very, very hard in a lot of different spaces, in their businesses, in their brands at work, who are, who may not be getting opportunities or who may not have access to the right, even the right networks to get them to where they need to get to. That doesn't mean they don't have the propensity to be self-made, right? So I think the question I ask to you guys are watching, what, how do you define self-made? What are your thoughts? And it's not just about Kylie Jenner, you know, I'm not, you know, it isn't a video bashing anyone because there's some amazing women on this list and I'll leave a link to this list. We could do background history of all of these women. But it, but for me, it's, it's how do we navigate certain spaces and how do you, you know, how do you, it's not the word justify, but is it accurate to say that certain people who have, they, they haven't had as many steps to climb um, or have, they haven't had as, how can I put it? They haven't had to dodge as many balls of life. <laughs> To get to where they get to, is it accurate to call them self-made? I'm not entirely convinced. Um, I'm not, so I need someone to help me out. Um, and, and and again, if 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 somebody can prove, you know, can really just say, yeah, you know, it's it, it's it, it's enough just to be born into a family that has really great access, and as long as she wait, you know, she she's there, and you know, specifically about Kylie. Um, then yeah, it's enough. She's self-made because it's her name. And and if if you read um, the back story of the the pieces that, that, that outline how her money is made, and you know this is this is very it's out there. So it's not me. You know you don't really we're not investigating anything. It literally is just reading the pieces about these certain individuals. You know, so I'm not gonna go and let's, let's go and look for all their accounts. No, it's out there. If it's out there, it's for us to 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 learn from. And if you read it, it is about using her name and her brand. Her, her brand is very, very strong. You know, millions of followers across millions of social media platforms and they're, they're real followers, you know, they're not bought followers. So really have a think. Is it self-made? You know, is, is, it, uh, is it? Is it? Let me know your thoughts. Have a look at the list. Let me know what you think. And come back and uh, let's have a little conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Take care.